Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do a video about something we've all experienced, we've all witnessed this. Um, sometimes we like to ignore it, sometimes it makes us feel a bit uncomfortable, and sometimes we even, we even laugh, we find this funny. Um, we're going to experience this together, guys, we're going to talk about this. So that's right, it's the crappy guitar that nobody wants. Um, that's what this video is going to be about. Uh, we've all seen it, we all probably had one. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take this guitar in its current state and hopefully fix it up so it's actually playable. Um, let me show you what it sounds like currently with the old uh, string hanging off. So I think it's in tune. literally got hit in the face with the string there. So what I'm going to do is just completely revamp it. What we'll do first is we'll have a good close-up look as to the state that it's currently in and um, we'll see what changes need to be made. It's, it's, it's definitely quite an interesting one so let's have a look. Okay this is it, this is the guitar in its current state as I received it a few days ago. Let's have a look, let's, first of all, let's just find out what make this is. It's a well-known Chantry, Chantry. It is so well-known, I don't even know how to pronounce it. And, okay, let's just, we're already seeing something a bit off here with the old uh, tuner, tuning peg situation. Um, let's just work our way down. Strings, you know, not too bad, at least, you know, only about a decade old. And then we've got the, uh, the standard broken string. Oh, in there, look, oh, have we got a, a model number? 4462, okay. Oh, okay, right, let's just... Has anyone noticed the issue here? We got the old B string running up into the G peg. As you would find when a guitar's been shoved in a corner for a few years, forgotten. Um, we've got some interesting marks, some odd stains, God knows what the hell they are, so anti back is recommended. Okay, let's um let's turn it over. Let's see what the back looks like. Okay, so here's the back of it. Let's start the headstock again. And uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. That is, I can't even move it. So yeah, that tuning peg might need a little bit of work. The uh, trademark chips. Oh, looks like, there we go. Cash converters, Chantry. Oh, how much does that say? For what? 43? Oh no, that's a code. I don't know. Oh, I can't see how much it is. But um, as with all high quality guitars, a uh, second hand shop is where they're found. Even my dog is disgusted. Right, yeah, so like I say, second hand shop, classic um, purchase point for a guitar. Oh, of this caliber and um, we're gonna go down the body oh yes we got some damage right in the middle of the guitar which normally indicates some kind of assault or rage outburst where they've actually been using the guitar as a weapon you know but that's to be expected um, and let's have a look around the edges because we've got a little bit of wear and tear here Obviously where it's been scraped along the floor. Um, so yeah, that is it. And you got the old trademark dust gathering where it's just been sat, forgotten, neglected after it's um, 
been used and abused by whoever owned it previously. So here we go. So yeah, I just thought it'd be really interesting to get a guitar like this and um, see if we can make it actually playable. Uh, I've been wanting acoustic for a, a long time. But yeah, the guitars that I actually want are well beyond my price range. This obviously cost me zero pounds. I'm gonna have to just spend a little bit of money. Gonna have to get some new strings on it, obviously. A peg for the, the strings at the bottom. Um, and another tuning peg, that's inexpensive. Um, and then obviously have to change it for, cause I play left-handed. Change it for left-handed play and then give it a bit of a setup. Cause other than, you know, the dodgy bits, the body's in good condition, the neck isn't snapped. Um, just, it looks more like wear and tear. So sound wise, you might not be able to hear it on camera, but acoustically in the room, it sounds great, with, even with these rubbishy strings. So I'm gonna hopefully fix it up and make it actually playable again, um, rather than a, a relic that is an embarrassment to your family. So yeah, let's see how we go. Okay, we're gonna start up. I'm gonna take all the strings off, give it a clean, and we'll see if we can sort that tuning peg at the back. If not, we might have to get a new one. So let's get these strings off. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these pliers and I'm gonna prise these off. It's quite hard to do one-handed. Yeah. <laughs> let's try again. Come on. Come on. Ah. Try and do it, let's go. Just gonna get these out. Hey! We'll put that on my drink, on my cup of tea. I'm gonna do that with all of those and we'll get these strings off. So I'm gonna start with the G string that turns into a B string and work my way up. just completely snapped. I've got a couple of spares though, so that's fine. So I've just noticed something quite interesting here. They've actually put the string that was on the guitar on top of the old guitar string. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I don't know who had this guitar before, but maybe they were intoxicated when they restrung it, I don't know. And there's uh, an interesting gap there, which, um, from this thing. So yeah, it's going well. Okay, so this is the damage. We managed to get all the strings off. That was actually quite hard work because, well, it's just knackered. And look at, I don't know if you can see the rust. Oh, let me just include that because, you know, that is the damage. Let's give this thing a clean. I'm just gonna wipe it down, anti back it, and uh, make it look less like it's been chucked in a bin. Cool. I'm not using anything special. I'm just gonna quickly give it a, just a normal clean with some uh, anti-back spray. I know all the roadies and all the uh, guitar geeks are gonna go mad at me for using that, but mate, this guitar cost me no pounds. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But let's go, let's clean it up, y'all. We're just going on the back now. I'm gonna try and get this label off if I can. But yeah, nice. As in all top quality guitars, you know, um, a feather falls out of it, um, standard. Okay, so I found these small screws. I think they might be okay to fit in the back of the tuning peg that fell off. So we'll give that a go, and see if that works. Okay, this guitar just doesn't like me. Look, you can see the screws actually snapped Let's see if we can get that removed. Managed to get it out. Right, I think I've got it so it won't go anywhere. It's a little bit wobbly, but I'm gonna stick some old strings on it and we'll get our first sound. I'm taking some strings off an old acoustic that is in worse state than this, unbelievably, and I'll show you how it is right now. Yeah, 
So I've just noticed on this guitar as well, the nut is set up for a right-handed guitar, but it's actually left-handed. The scratch plate is on the left-handed uh, setup. So whatever, <laughs> we're just gonna see what happens. Moving on to the D string. Yes, the peg broke on the E string, but it's not going anywhere. So I'm gonna leave it in there for now because we're just gonna test it out. Okay. Put some strings on it. These are size size tens rotor sounds. They're old strings, apart from the the high E. Managed to get the label off. That bit won't come off, but what ifs? And look at that for some handiwork, you know. Let's uh. Let's give it a play and see what this thing sounds like. Okay, so this is it with strings on. These are old strings, so these are just salvaged from an old guitar apart from the, the high E. And it is staying in tune, even with the dodgy um, tuning pegs. But yeah, with the cleanup, it actually looks okay. There's, I like this sunburst, and then there's like the, the ready colored sides and back. Still don't have a clue what a chantry is, but we can find out at some point. But yeah, let's just see what it sounds like. You ready? Actually sounds okay. I mean, it's um, it's got quite a bright sound, very bright, very bright tone to it. Um, it doesn't resonate very well, but I guess based on the fact no one knows what this guitar is and it's been knocked about a bit, it's it's um, it's designed for kind of beginners really. I would say just to start learning or making a bit of noise, and it does that absolutely fine. The only problems I found so far is that. On the uh, low E, as you get to kind of the 12th fret, it starts buzzing. But I mean, you're not going to be messing about up there too much on this guitar. And also, don't forget, the nut is angled the wrong way around. So, amazingly, it's a left-handed guitar, but the nut is angled as if it's um, set up for right-handed. So that could probably play into it, or it's just a bit crappily made. But um, the frets as well, they need filing down. If I do that too much, I'm going to split my finger open. Same on, on the underside as well. Um, but yeah, if we just strum in a few chords, it sounds really good. Get some real Christian rock out of that. You can still do a bit of finger picking on it, as long as you don't go too far up the fretboard, because the action gets a little bit suspect. I don't think you can see on the camera, but the action gets pretty high as you get to about the, yeah, as you reach about the ninth fret, the action starts getting a bit crazy and the sh it looks like the, the strings are trying to escape the guitar, but you can still get a decent finger picky sound if you want. I mean, the fact that this guitar was pretty much ready to go in the bin and all it needed was just a little bit of um, attention and some inexpensive parts and now 
it's fine just for making a little bit of noise. So, I mean, all in all, this cost me zero pounds to fix. Admittedly, I had some strings left over on an old guitar, the, um, the pegs, I had some screws ready to fit that back in. I didn't need to buy a new tuning peg. And the body wasn't broken. The body, other than the, other than the break on the back, the body's fine, in fine condition, that's just more cosmetic. So it's cost me n nothing to put together, and even if I were to buy those parts, yeah, it probably cost me about a tenner or... So yeah, I mean, even if I had to buy all those things new, it probably would cost me no more than about ten pounds. Um, and that's it, from an absolutely knackered guitar, to something playable. You know, it's great if you just wanna mess about, play a few tunes, come up with some ideas. Um, it's great for me to annoy my family by making annoying noises whilst they're trying to do things around the house. It's great, so don't get me wrong, it doesn't compare to high-end acoustic guitars, top quality builds, it doesn't compare to that. This is, this I would presume that a chantry, in fact, let's find out, let's find out what a chantry is. <laughs> so, a little bit of digging, literally, just a quick Google, I found this guitar on eBay for £25. <laughs> Apparently they're made by a charity shop in the UK, and that they're sold specifically for a charity shop, which makes sense considering the build, um, and, you know, it, it is a beginner guitar, but I mean, the fact you can still get a decent sound, decent amount of playability out of it, there's nothing wrong with it. I think people get a bit snobby with guitars. It's like you have to have a thousand pound guitar to be considered a musician, but what's wrong? You know, anyone can play a G chord. That's gonna sound pretty similar whether you play it on a 20 pound guitar or a 3,000 pound guitar, you know. You know, it costs me nothing to get a decent guitar and, and make some decent noise. Don't get me wrong, if I had the money, there are plenty of other acoustics I would go for. You're not getting a top end sound. The, the action goes dodgy halfway up. But I, if you had the skills, you could probably mod it into a, a, a pretty decent instrument for just messing around the home. Or even, you know, if you go to some rubbish open mic nights, I'm sure it'll fit in quite well there. Yeah, I like it. It's fun to have it, just to pick up and play. This has been interesting. But don't forget that guitar in the corner. You can still get a decent sound out of it with a little bit of love and care. I'm sure there are plenty of other guitars out there that are in that corner that need to go in the bin, they need to stay in the bin. But we've saved you, Chantry. We've saved you. It'd be great to know if anyone's ever salvaged a rubbish guitar and made it into something half decent. I'm gonna definitely be playing this around the house. It's great for coming up with ideas and just messing about and having fun and at the end of the day that's why we play to have fun and get creative so yeah here's a nice g chord to end on <laughs>